Hi guys, it's Music with Mans here, and I want to talk to you about five ways that you can grow your Instagram as a musician. This, of course, ow. But, I'm gonna Okay, well she hates me, but. here and today I'm here to talk to you about five ways that you can grow your Instagram as a musician. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first tip I have for you is you need to find a theme. And I mean that in two different ways, but the first one is music-wise. So it can either be creating your own music, creating your own genre of music, or uh, playing somebody else's music, or whatever it may be. For me personally, a lot of my feed is from the Omni book, which is a book full of Charlie Parker transcriptions, and that's what people just like to hear from me. Um, it could be anything for you guys. It could be just creating your own music, it could be lo-fi, it could be country, whatever you want. But you need to find something that will get you in the algorithm, and, that's, and that thing is what will push you to get all of your followers. Um, so the second thing that I have for you, the second part to that, I guess, um, you need to have a theme for your feed. People love looking at beautiful things. And my theme is plants. In every single video or picture that I post, well, maybe not picture, but definitely out of every single video, um, there are plants. And I make sure that they're in there in some way or another. Just make sure that there is something in all of your feed that people like seeing. You need to look presentable. Whatever presentable may mean to you, maybe put on some makeup, do your hair, brush it, I don't know. Just, just look presentable. Because like I just said, people love looking at beautiful things. And if, you know, if you're all dirty and gross and not very presentable looking, just dress like you would if you were going out into the public or or as if you were actually on stage performing. That's what I always think about. If I was actually performing and most many people were actually watching me in person, I'd want to look this way. And it will really help you because, like I said, like three times already, people love looking at beautiful things. Whether it's right or wrong, it's just the truth. I want you guys to be able to have good quality videos and that can vary that doesn't have to be like it doesn't have to be a crazy camera or a crazy microphone I I don't even actually have that good quality videos I just kind of you know I work with the lighting <laughs> this is what I use for all of my videos I used to use an iPhone 7 for recording thankfully I have an iPhone 13 now and it's so much better but still I don't have a camera I definitely don't have any microphones all I do is put on the track on a speaker behind the camera but close enough to where everybody can hear it and then play over it um so it does not have to be fancy, just work with what you have. If you have a lamp, use that for lighting. If you have, you know, just use the phone that you have. Or if it's not good quality, maybe look at investing in a camera or maybe use somebody else's phone. It does not have to be crazy expensive or fancy or anything that all of these musicians, not all of them, but a lot of social media musicians invest in that kind of stuff. And eventually I would love to, but I know it's not ideal for everybody. Make sure you sound good. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but some, a lot of times what people will do is like, oh, I'm just learning this and blah, blah, blah. But people don't know that. People like listening to, to good music. So, you know, it, of course it does not have to be perfect. And none of my videos are perfect and they will never be. But just try your best to, to kind of get a good shot. And of course, don't try and don't sit there for two hours making it perfect. Um, just make sure that you sound decent and that you're comfortable enough. Like I said, just imagine that people are out in the audience and this is what you're giving them. Just make sure that you're comfortable. 
So another really, really important thing is you have to post consistently. And when I say consistently, I mean either every day or every other day, especially when you're just starting out to make sure it's the same content. Because if you post something like something that has to do with animals or, you know, whatever it may be, and then post a completely different thing the next day, you will confuse Instagram. Because what Instagram is trying to do, they're trying to target people that like a certain thing. And if they don't understand what you're producing, then you're not going to get into the algorithm. So you have to be consistent until you have at least a base following. Be kind. You are going to get hate comments. You will. It doesn't matter who you are. You are going to get hate comments. Don't reply to them. Okay? Don't ever reply to them. And I know so badly that you want to. But don't do it, don't do it. It will open a can of worms that you don't wanna get yourself into. And also, having them hate on your videos actually puts you in the algorithm. So just make sure that they keep commenting. Um, and then, yeah, just be kind. Don't bring politics into it. If you guys try this and it works, please let me know, I would be so happy. If I can help people achieve what I achieve, then I would be the happiest person in the world. So please let me know how this works out for you guys. And like I said, this is just from personal experience. I'm not, I don't have a huge following, but it's definitely something. And I wanna be able, I want other people to be able to have that too. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. <laughs> I cannot stick to one thing. And um, I really appreciate, I appreciate you guys. Please make sure to comment down below if this works for you or if you're willing to try it. Thank you.